digital romance TV. Hey guys, it's Michael Fiore from Digital Romance, Inc. and Digital Romance TV, along with Nora, answering your questions about love and sex in the digital age. And today's video is about... How to blow your partner's mind in bed. Oh. Is there a question? Mind. Yes. Three tips. Three tips on how to blow your partner's mind in bed. Yes. Can we start with communication? Yeah, sure. Is Why not? I think that's great. Because, you know, people have different things they want in bed as far as having their mind blown. I think... There's not, like, just one thing. <laughs> yeah. Missionary is not the only way. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know that. <laughs> yeah. So I would say... Um, the, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I think that uh, the, the best way to blow somebody's mind in bed is to be open and willing to communicate with them about what you want and how you want it. Yes, because actually if you tell them what you want uh, and actually give them accurate information and they do it, they'll feel good about themselves because they'll have actually given you a good experience, which will cause a wonderful feedback loop of sexy wonderfulness. Which would be my second thing, yeah. which is to give them feedback. Giving, which is hard for a lot of people. During though. the actual interaction yes. about how they are making you feel. Harder, faster. More French. I think more about like how they affect you. Yeah. I think is better yeah. instead of instruction. Like yeah. the actual like uh, when you that's making me feel like you know for women it's easy. It's like oh you make me feel so wet. You like you know mm, all that stuff. I feel like I'm gonna burst through my pants. Just <laughs> um, I would say uh, being present is a very mm -hmm. big thing. I'm a, you know like. Eye contact yeah, can eye go contact. a very long well, way. Yeah, it can be creepy though too for it too long. It can be like, creepy it can for be too a long. Too much. But actually, communicate. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of that uh, scene from Superbad where the girl especially like when high you, over and over again. Right, especially. Or is that from something especially else? Especially when you're like first with somebody and there's too much eye contact, overtly creepy. It becomes too intense for it can be a very first intense. encounter. It right? can be when very, you're still very at intense. that light level of like. Which is why you do doggy style. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right, you just flip I think it's, I mean, largely it's about communication and figuring out about where your, uh, where do you guys line up on the kink sure. scale or on the eroticism yeah. scale? What are, what are you into? And so often people kind of like guess at these things right. or they make, they, they do worse. They assume that whatever they like is what other people like as well. Right? Absolutely true. Which is a horrible way to go. Although You're, it yeah. is pretty safe to assume Things you've done in the past that have pleased other partners, like in general, general, general things, not too kinky, but every not penis, too. Every penis is different. Every body is different. They you usually know. like the same things, though. Well, they like they like similar versions of the same yeah. things with some variations. Yes, which is what I'm saying. Uh, I would like also if say you like, start yeah. at the if you start at the basic, you know, they you start at the base your... and you move your way up um, <laughs> from there. You know, shade, shade the pubes. Um, so anyway, I would say the third thing for me is actually just like bringing narrative and dirty talk into it. Yes. Can do wonderful, wonderful sure. things. Engaging the mind instead of just the body. Yes. Um, it actually draws people more into the situation. Yes. So you're not sitting there watching a movie while you're having sex. Correct. G.I. Joe was great to watch in general. Um, I just give away too much. Um, yeah, but dirty talk and just like communicating and again, narrating what's actually going on talking about what's going on and talking about your emotions and as you said talking about the impact that your partner is having on you mm -hmm. giving them the praise for being good right. is actually a great way to go yep it doesn't mean to lie you know don't lie don't fake an orgasm by the way it's usually a bad idea almost always a bad idea usually a bad idea i've only faked them a couple times look if you're in bed with somebody <laughs> and you pretty much have realized that you're never going to be back here again and you don't want to necessarily have it be a badly like spent person. evening, you like this person, you don't feel badly about them, you don't hate them, you give them what they're looking for so you can move on with your day, with your night, whatever, and sure. just be done. So like, if, you're, if you're never going to go to that restaurant again, then go ahead. Why bother tipping? You're fine. Yeah. Anyway. Why bother finishing your meal anyway. that you know you're not going to, it's going to sit yeah. badly later. I, anyway, just, anyway yeah. as far as the real advice, it's like don't read Cosmo because Cosmo is going to tell you to put your fingers in strange places and do all sorts of other kinds of things, which some people might really But like. some people don't. And it's also not something you should be introducing the first time you're with somebody, Absolutely. generally speaking. If you're super into bondage, you don't want to be going there on the first date. You don't want to be doing anything like that else. You need to have communication with people. And like, you know, this can be fun, somewhat drunken conversation about, so what's, you know, talk to me about some of the greatest sexual experiences you've had. Don't go into the details and the person and all the other sure. kind of stuff, but just describing what you've done and what you've enjoyed together in an honest way can lead to some wonderful things. Absolutely. And also just being open to trying things. Sure. Right? Within your boundaries. Sure. Whatever your boundaries might be. No dragons. Oh, okay. I think we're done. Um, comment. 
Go to visualromanceinc.com. Tell your friends I and your enemies. And tell us what you're into. Please. Not do. too much detail. Right here. As much detail as you want. Not right All here. Of it. All of the details. <laughs> <laughs> If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women on The Rachel Ray Show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.